Cancer, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading, my love. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments. All right, I love you too. Cancer, if you found this message or the message found you, there is something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. I thank you for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay that, no mind. Feel the energy. There is no age, there is no sex, gender, all that stuff. Just energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. This is the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Cancer, please. Thank you. Ooh. I think Aquarius had a tall tail in uh, the bottom of their deck. Uh, experiencing what you're experiencing right now, first of all, 34 and 35 back to back uh, synchronicities, okay? Um, opening to discovery, a tall tail. To be honest, bottom line, somebody lying and you found out or you know. Opening to discovery, a tall tail, okay? A tall tail is opening to discovery. Pick a way you want to say it. It don't matter to me. Bottom line is they're lying and you know it, okay? There is a false representation here that you are becoming aware of, okay? Uh, be it in relationships and business. Um, yeah. And when I say relationships, I mean friendships, family, it doesn't matter, connections. Um, but somebody was wearing a false mask and you got a peek at their real face, all right? The power of purpose is under the deck. Now, um, the power of doing something with purpose, with reason, with power, with passion, um, the power of keeping your focus in check, uh, for keeping your goals um, in uh, in the mind, on the mind, while you're taking steps. It, ha it makes a difference because what it does is, this is saying that even though you may have uh, started to play on the sidelines or in, indulge in something, try something new, whatever, uh, for the moment, you might have a great like party night or a get together night, you know, the next morning you get back to the grind. Okay, back to the grind. And now that this realization is coming into play, instead of now, uh, uh, there was a time where you may have felt like, man, I wasted my time. What you did was you kept moving while you were playing. You were working and playing at the same time. So even though this realization is at play here, you're still seeing forward progress. That's the power of working on purpose. You know what I mean? Intentional uh, goals. My intention for the day is to do this, this, and this, and then play. Fine. You know, but that worked for you and it's still working. Um, or it's coming to a realization. You're realizing that, you know what? I see this real face right here. I see the real situation. I see the real story. I see the story behind the story, behind the story and all that stuff. I'm going to continue focusing on what I have to do. Okay. Now, with that being in mind, um, you're still emotionally um, hmm, connected to uh, another energy here with sacred reverence. Um, there is a lock and key here with a heart uh, waking the lion here. It could be... Um, Mm, Earth and fire is here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Aquarius is here. Mm, yeah, I smell an Aquarius. Yeah, I like it. I like the love connection. I just want you, can you, I need you to work and play at the same time. I stand by that. Stay grounded, okay? Um, enjoy the clouds when you want to float a little bit but then come back and go to work, okay? <laughs>
Let's put some tarot down. We're going to do a spread with the light seers today. Oof. The, the bad part about is that I don't think, you know, hmm, I can't say that. I really can't. You know, I want, I want to say that it's not a flat out lie, but what's the definition of a flat out lie? A lie is a lie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a false representation is still a lie. A half truth is a lie, period. You know, I want to say to give this person the benefit of the doubt, you know, um, but it is what it is. Um, you just make sure that you enjoy, you know, the the playtime, but you stay stay on your grind, my love. Stay on your grind because either they're going to come around and realize your worth and value or you're going to move on and make a um, connection with somebody that really appreciates you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> what you got to say? Three of Wands. You were expecting this anyway. <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Cancer? <laughs> I cannot. Oh. And nothing happened that you didn't see coming. You knew it already. That's what you're telling me with this Three of Wands. Um, you're still saying that, look, you know, I know I've made a choice for me. Yeah, I might have played a little bit because I had some downtime, but I'm still expecting bigger and better to come. You know what, Cancer? I ain't mad at you. Go ahead with your bad self. I ain't mad at you. Center energy, please, for Cancer. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you playing. <laughs> Or you playing hard with a fire sign or a fire sign is playing with you um, or you're really just enjoying um, some fun time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not always about relationship, 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 relationship. You know, I can't say that. This is a general message. This feels just fun. You know, so you are really enjoying yourself. You're enjoying life. You're laughing. You're giggling, you know. Um, even at the little things and then, you know, you get back to work and that's what I wanted. That's what I want to see. Cause that's what this is really emphasis on being real, uh, have uh, a real view of hmm, what was unknown. Cause I can't deny somebody was, was, they were stretching the truth. Let's just say it like that. Okay. But you stayed on your grind, you know, and you're still like, look, I'm going to play with you when I want to play, but you know, we're going to have a great Saturday night, but you're, you're not going to find me next to you Sunday morning. How about that? <laughs> Crowning energy for cancer. Page of cups. All right. So uh, 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 overall, I think that you still are uh, thinking about um, the possibility of love, but it's just really distant. I ain't going to lie. Um, one day, yeah, one day, you know, yeah, that kind of thing for those who are single, um, for those who are, love is not on the table or an issue or anything like that. Um, to be honest, I feel that you're really embracing some fun times in life. And then, uh, what uh, is hovering over you is a, maybe a thought about either children or a future with children or, um, hmm maybe a Christmas gift that you want to get, like you're really trying to figure out what would be an emotional gift, like not about the money, but you want to really make an impact. You know what I'm saying? What's undermining the energy for cancer? Justice, Libra. Okay. So we're talking about fairness. We're talking about equality. We're talking about um, court issues. Okay. Legal issues. Things that just might not, these things you feel like uh, aren't working in your favor. You know what I mean? So yeah, you might be playing and you might be working, but you know, are you getting what you deserve for your work? You know, while you're playing, are you the one footing the bill and, you know, they're not spending much, you know? Um, if you have legal issues, you know, do you feel like the, uh, attorney is working on your side or their side. You know what I'm saying? Like that's <clears throat> what's in question right here. Um, also, it, it seems that you've been waiting for karma to hit somebody and it hasn't yet. I don't, don't focus on that anymore. Don't you give that not no more 
nothing, no more energy. Okay. Let God be God. You be cancer. Okay. Uh, where's this coming from? What brought this on, please? Four of Swords, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Uh, this is the energy of rest, of energy of contemplation, an energy of honestly, um, there's heartache here. Hmm. You know, it, whatever was, was, you know. Um, what it did was you, you thought about things, you processed, um, you had some long nights, but you know, today you were, uh, really starting to take steps towards healing. Um, also steps towards, um, new possibilities. You know what I mean? But you may have been in a period of really thinking things through. Okay. With this four of swords, um, heavy emphasis on the focus of family, with this four of swords, uh, how would your, how would your, uh, new beginning affect family? Something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, the kind of like, how are the pieces going to fall? How are the dominoes going to fall when you make a move? But you kind of really said, you know what? I have to, I have to be me. I have to live for myself and that's what you're walking in. And I love it. All right. Where's this going? For, hello three of pentacles teamwork making the dream work so it looks like things work itself out with um with some effort and some assistance okay uh three of pentacles talks about working together we're talking about uh possibly counseling uh we're talking about um hiring help uh getting help um, this also, I'm hearing networking. So you may know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, you know what I mean? Uh, that helps you towards your goals, passions, and desires. Um, this also has a big bearing on whatever you feel has been unjust. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's allows you to get to a place where, you know, you can feel like, you know what? Uh, that may not have been fair, but I know I can work things out. You know, I can rebuild. Okay. I can still have what I want. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Again, emphasis on assistance. Okay. Two of cups energy it talks about, uh, divine counterparts. This doesn't have to be love. Okay. This can be a friend, family member. This can be the holy and divine, uh, holding your hand, uh, to guide you through. But what it is, is an energy of, uh, validation. You know, we are thinking alike. We want the same things. We're trying to go the same places that, that kind of connection. Okay. Um, and it feels good that somebody gets you, even if it's God, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what the confusing part is with this seven of cups is how to break free from old ways of thinking with this eight of swords. And how you do that is you embrace the realization of the sun, the illumination of the sun, the whimsical energy of the sun. And I think that that's what you're trying to do with this Knight of wands energy. You're trying to just live life um, to its fullest and do the best that you can on a day by day basis. But this doesn't have to be day by day, whereas though you have to crawl out the bed and say, I'm going to have a great day today. It doesn't have to be that hard. You, you know, it can just happen like really um, naturally. It could be autonomic, you know, instead of you pushing to make it automatic. You know what I mean? Um, but that greatness brings great stability and commitment for you. I mean, I'm looking at the sun, ten of pentacles and Hierophant. Some of you are honestly getting ready to get proposed to or make a commitment to live together. Um I'm hearing move closer together. Uh, yeah, I want to say it like that. Move closer together. Uh, could be uh, a air or fire sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag is here. Uh, overall, I think that for those of you that are making a love connection, it's uh, great because it's passionate and the conversations are great with this Queen of Swords. You know, very intelligent conversation and a lot of passion. Okay. 
Um, others of you, you're really standing in um, your truth with this Queen of Swords. Um, you're really accepting only the truth. You're just really in a no BS kind of zone, okay? You know what you want and you're going after it with this uh, King of Wands energy. What you're not interested in is wasting your time, energy, effort, or emotions, and you're not accepting any shorts. So for instance, if somebody comes to you with this job offer and you look at the um, requirements and you say, you know, no, that's not worthy of my expertise, of my knowledge, my education, my time, things like that. You know, um, this final call that you're making is like, it's like you're saying to God, I know I'm a winner. I know I'm a winner. You're like, somebody said uh, in a personal yesterday, I'm a, a, I'm a poor billionaire. You know what I'm saying? It's that same kind of energy. You know, you already know you're the 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 best that ever did it. You know what I mean? As far as you're concerned, I'm the best that ever did it, that's ever going to do it, not because of what you see, because you don't know my story of what I made it through. Like, that's what the Six of Wands is, is celebratory of making it over, making it through, making it around, um, overcoming, things like that. And you did so in all truth with this King of Swords, even though you carried a broken heart with this Three of Swords, and you spent so much time wasted on something that never really produced any fruit. And even though you still feel some remnants of sorrow, you still took up your kahunas and said, I'm moving on on boom rebirth hello death energy okay but is it confusing sometimes yes do you get caught up sometimes yes uh because they're then they you tried to move on and then they said okay well wait a minute um they started holding on to you you know what i mean but before it was the other way around now you're trying to move forward and you're doing so gradually it's not like you just jumped up and said I'm going to fly out of here. I'm catching the first thing smoking out the airport. No, you know, you did so gradually. It was hard, you know? So the fact that now you got the gumption to keep it pushing and now you want to hold on because you're saying now you really see me. You took a look at the big picture. You're seeing the love and unconditional um, emotional support that I've been giving you. No, no. Because Cancer, you have a bigger picture as well. You're seeing that the self-love feels darn good and is really close to 10. Nine of Cups is really close to 10. I'm just saying, okay? Really close. I mean, Hangman, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles. Hello, baby. That is self-love. That is looking out for your foundation, your security, uh, your life, being loyal to your mother loving self. Hello? Yeah. And the king is right there. King and queen back to back. I like it a lot. I'm telling you, for some of you, this is a new love connection or a love connection that is getting taken to the next level. Woo! Yeah. Uh, protect it. Seven of Wands. It's definitely worth your covering and protecting. And know that when you're standing in that confidence and independence and in that powerful Queen of Wands energy, that this Capricorn or this toxic um, energy that you've been dealing with is over and done with, with the world energy. Bye. Gotta go because I'm working on my Ten of Cups. Hello, Cancers. Congratulations, my love. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So we have some truth here, but you are still living life. You have expectations um, on something coming in and it's coming. Okay. Stay focused, you know, play Saturday night, but yeah, Sunday morning, you know, just start preparing for the week. Okay. Uh, for some of you, like I said, this is an issue where there's a concern, there's a concern overhead of uh, children or family. Um, and I think they'll be okay as well. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I think they'll be okay as well. Now, everything is not fair. Everything is not just. But let God be God. You be cancer. And pay attention when people are talking because you know some very powerful people or you're rubbing elbows with people that might be able to help you more than you know. Okay? All right. I hope this helps. If any event, none of it resonates. 
It's all right. Check out your moon or rising sign, guys. But don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for another cancer so they can pick it up when they come visit, okay? Thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you're notified of future readings. And remember that collectively, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.